All right, guys, uh, we're sending John to the North Pole uh, to meet Santa and the elves. That was a fast, we didn't tease that at all. It was just yeah, boom, boom, right out there. That's okay. A, yeah, that's where, where he's going. He's leaving in a couple of days, so uh, we wanted to tell you guys uh, where he's going so you don't think we fired him. Um, oh, they'll think that anyway. Yes, um, <laughs> so quite the opposite, he's doing an amazing docu-series for us for Verizon Go 90 and Huffington Post. So that's who's gonna air it, uh, and it is a trip by the Arctic Fund. And it's for four to six weeks, you're gonna be gone for a long time, dude. It's for four to six weeks, assuming weather and ice conditions are good. I mean, theoretically, we could be there longer. Okay, so, oh, ooh, that sucks, okay. Um, so <laughs> let's talk about what you're doing, and then we'll talk about what we're gonna show folks from that trip. Yeah. Okay, so what is, what's the trip? Yeah, so uh, there's this group, the Arctic Fund, uh, which has done a series of expeditions into the Arctic before for a couple of different reasons, and we're gonna be doing uh, a new one going farther uh, north, farther towards the North Pole than they've done before for a couple of different purposes. Uh, we're going to be on this ship, it's primarily sailing expedition in the Arctic um, for, for more than a month. Uh, we're gonna have a group of scientists of various types, uh, mainly climate scientists that we're gonna be bringing to, uh, to different places, going on shore for a night or two nights, conducting experiments, documenting their work and interviewing them. Um, scientists who work in some of the least hospitable places in the face of the earth. And uh, we're gonna be working with them. There's also gonna be some cartographers and uh, ecologists and biologists. And also uh, the leader of the expedition, his reason for wanting to do it is that he is going to be look, looking for a Zeppelin that was lost, that crashed uh, somewhere around 80, 90 years ago in the area. So we're gonna be searching for that underwater as well. We've got some like devices that can like go down and do some different stuff. Okay, so, uh, and then you have a drone too, right? Yeah, so we're gonna be, uh, TYT is gonna be sending uh, me and we're also gonna have a small crew. We're gonna be doing filming, we got the, you know, the full rig, it's gonna look beautiful, I think, but also uh, drones uh, as well. And there's been, like we've sort of teased this before and uh, what I have discovered is that while everybody seems to know that something has happened, nobody, including most of the people here, know where we're going. Yeah. Like people half think it's Antarctica, half think it's Alaska. So I wanna show you, so let's bring up this first graphic uh, and you're gonna see, for we've got you know that's a shot down on Earth. You've got the North Pole there, and we've marked out uh, for I guess you know, there's L.A. and New York and Iceland. We're going to be the last land we're going to be on is that island of Svalbard, which is currently uh, wrapped in the permanent ice. But um, some of that will be melted away a little bit. Uh, and then you see the North Pole there, and we're going to show you another shot right now. Uh, so there. Basically, mm -hmm. uh, so it is uh, north of Norway. Basically, you know, straight towards the North Pole. That so seemed like pretty was, far away from home. That seemed like it was way further north than Iceland. And when it is way further north, it's it's north of the northernmost part of Greenland. That's when you know you're really north. It's pretty far, <laughs> John. You are North Star. <laughs> I don't think that nickname is gonna stick, uh, but it's very exciting. I think that we're gonna have an opportunity to get some uh, some awesome interviews with scientists who are doing cutting edge uh, work in climate change. I'm looking forward to like living with these people for a month or longer and absorbing as much as I can of them. And also we're gonna be experiencing conditions that none of us have experienced before. I mean, I've never really sailed at all, let alone straight towards the North Pole. So you guys are obviously on a, a like a fortress of a ship, right? Uh, no, actually, uh, I was surprised to discover that the ship is a sailboat. It's made of wood and it's not particularly big, actually. So <laughs> it's a sailboat going to where, like, it's not exaggerating to say that there's some chance where no human has gone before. Uh, I mean, it, we're going to an area where generally ships like that do not. I mean, there's icebreakers and things like that that'll go yeah. there. Um, there's, you know, submarines will go there and stuff like that. And I'm sure there's some, like, big, big fishing boats, like big metal fishing boats do. But I don't think generally, like this is as I said, farther than the expeditions that the Arctic Fund has gone on before. You know, Certainly with a ship of this size. Uh, to go where no one has gone before, yeah. uh, is, that is quite fitting for you, John. <laughs> and you've grown a nice number two beard. Yeah, well I figured you know, I wanna look a little bit like Riker and also insulate myself a little bit. Yes. I mean, look, people have gone farther on land. I mean, there are people who have gone onto the permanent land and hiked to the North Pole. Those people are crazy and a lot of die doing it. We're not going that far. We're only going as far as the ship can go. We're going on land before there, but the permanent ice, we're, we're going as far as it is broken up. 
and we're hoping to go far, but it's to some extent in Mother Nature's hands. So let, let me clarify two things. One, number two beard is a reference to Star Trek and not something else. Okay, <laughs> number, so, I got what you're saying. All right, so who, who does the number two beard work for? Okay, uh, and then uh, and then the other thing I want to clarify is, of course, people have been further north than that. Yeah, it's yeah. that because of climate change, more ice has melted, unfortunately. Yes, which is why this expedition can go farther. Maybe potentially more than anyone yeah. has gone before Look, because or, the ice just melted. Exactly, and 10 or 15 years ago, we would not have been able to go as far as we're going to go. Yeah. So thank God for climate change. <laughs> two, 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 two. <laughs> so it's gonna be on Rising Go 90s and having the post and, and so- We're gonna try to do some like short videos or live videos that we can send back to you guys. But obviously the, the internet is basically non-existent. So yeah, we'll do what we can. So, and you guys are gonna do different episodes of, of your adventure there. Exactly, and, yeah. And so, th they made that trip happen. So, mm -hmm. that, that's why it's great that they're partnered up with us to do this. Exactly. And I think there's gonna be a TYT flag on the ship. Yeah, that's we're, so yeah. badass. We're gonna have a TYT flag, really exciting. Uh, just, it's gonna be it's gonna be a really cool experience. It's obviously dangerous. I mean, I think everybody on the trip is a little bit concerned about that. Yeah. But it's gonna be an awesome experience. And obviously, like climate change is my number one issue. And to be able to help amplify the message and research of these workers is like a dream come true. So I'm very excited for it. Okay, now last thing is just be careful. Uh, if you see Euron Greyjoy, okay, <laughs> get out of there. If okay. I see flaming arrows come, <laughs> I'll be, I don't think that's the biggest danger. You don't think so? Okay. That island that I marked out on the map that we're gonna be, that's the last, it's the northernmost inhabited like permanent settlement that we're gonna be stopping at for a couple days to do like firearms training. Uh, that island has- Firearms training? But Why, are the outside, Russians gonna board your no, ship? <laughs> outside of that town, you are required to have uh, weapons because uh, there are between 500 and like a thousand people who live there generally at any given time. And there's uh, at least 3,500 polar bears. And there's no area where polar bears do not go, including in the town. So. That is so cool. Okay, so. I'm cool. <laughs> All right, so this started disastrously for, uh, Republicans, when you were like, I'm going to be stuck on a boat with scientists. They're like, oh, yuck. <laughs> and a lot of them are, uh, their expertise is climate. Oh, exactly. man. So obviously, they're sent by the Chinese because it's so it's a big part hoax. of the Chinese. I mean, these hoax. are some of the people that are starting the hoax. Really. Right. Uh, but then you turn to, Firearms are mandatory. They're like, wait up now, hold on now. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the case of an emergency. And by the way, using them even in self-defense against polar bears is a crime. You can go to jail for it. Really? Yeah, yeah. There's big wow. fines and stuff like that. You have to prove are that it was out. to save your life. Like you cannot just go and shoot a polar bear or anything. <laughs> Republicans Nor are now would I want to. Totally I abandoning ship. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> that sounded fun for a second. Right. Illegal to shoot yeah. bears. What the hell? Is, all right, I'm just messing around with the conservative Why Republicans. And stuff, okay. Uh, and so, anyways, uh, uh, kidding aside, uh, it's a weird thing to say, but I'm kind of proud of you. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, I think it's a really amazing trip. I can't I wait to be. see the footage yeah. from it. I can't wait to see the show. And, uh, yeah. and, I can't go over four to six weeks, but it sounds like an amazing adventure. I know it's a long time to be away. I'm like, I'm sort of curious about what I'm gonna miss and a little bit worried that I'm gonna miss some big news, but I'm also glad to not have to pay attention to the craziness. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a long time to be away, but I think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be me and Shavala who did the, uh, the Oslo, uh, the Human Rights Summit that I went to. She was uh, the co-host of that. And also uh, Taylor and Michelle who are behind the scenes here at TYT. Shavala um, It's a long time to be away, but. Yeah, Shivala Medlina was the person who did our original documentaries. I don't know how much yeah. you guys remember those, but the four that we did. Yeah, uh, she's yeah. gonna be heading to the North Pole that's directly from Iraq. Wow. <laughs> she's a crazy a explorer and documentarian. Yeah, so it's it's a great trip. So I hope all of you guys check it out when John comes back. And God knows who'll be president when you return. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, right. Ted Cruz. <laughs> all right, go get him, John. Yeah. TYT membership gets you commercial free Young Turks, download it, stream it, podcast it, get all the network shows and support independent media. TYTnetwork.com slash join.